All right, everyone, here we are in Thousand Oaks, California. Uh, we're on our way to Los Angeles. We got one more night here, and uh, then we're catching the plane back home. But we did find a Goodwill, and I'm glad we did, because I really want to see how different the prices are here compared to back home. Um, I think this will be an inter interesting trip. We'll get to see see what's up, so. I can already see some of the prices. It looks like it's going to be pretty good. Yeah, good, let's go. Button. Kelly's been wanting some docks, but <clears throat> she says they're too big. How much do they want for them? Uh, 80. I mean, they're like brand new. I mean, it's not bad. No. For those, I mean, if you're buying for yourself. But... Yeah. Free people top. Mm -hmm. Free people top. Yeah. Ten bucks though. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's a half price or not. Mm -hmm. or... <clears throat> what up? A really cool Pendleton shirt. They want 10 for it though. Still pretty nice. It's not a wool, or else I'd probably get it. But you can't beat $10 for a Pendleton shirt like this. The shirt would be 50 or 60 bucks if you bought a brand new, if not more. It's a nice one. We're trying to found the Pendleton. I know. I saw it. Yeah, I looked through I'm just trying to be real selective, you know, because... Yeah, no, I looked through that rack. Plus, we yeah. don't have any room to take it from home. I know. I'm going to show you these, though. So, this is the Fry brand, Fry. Um, and I know only know how nice these are because they're on one of the... One of the websites I was looking for shoes on. Um, and they're very expensive shoes. Like, $150, $200. How much do they want for those? Um, we can fit some stuff. Thirty dollars for them. I, I looked at comps already, and it's just for thirty dollars. It's not, but these are all their boutique stuff. Yeah. So, I'm gonna look at the hard goods, I guess. So this brand, Karyuma. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so Facebook keeps telling me that these are like the shoes that I think that like Ashton Kutcher or something is wearing, and like people are going crazy over them or something like that. Um, so I think these would probably be worth buying at $35 because we could probably sell them for 70 since they're brand new, but, um, I don't know. Anyways. We might pick them up then, right? I mean, got room in my bag. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll see. Yeah. It's got a rack they just brought out. Nothing there. And this is good. Very heavy. So you guys are going to see me look at this piece of silver uh, pretty hard here in this segment. A um, little bit of background, I used to go to garage sales and look for only silver and gold before I started realizing there's other stuff out there. And when I picked this item up, I, it was so heavy, uh, it just feels different. And typically when you have when you find an item that's all silver, especially something this big, it, it just feels different than silver plate. 
So I was checking this out, really trying to find a hallmark or something, and I couldn't. Um, it, it bothered me the whole time I was looking at it. That's why I spent so long trying to figure out what it was. But ultimately, I put it back. Um, I'm still looking at this video now, thinking about it. It's like, man, if, if that could have been all silver, that, that would have been a score. But I just couldn't find a hallmark, so I left it there. It doesn't matter what you all the time to keep your standards. And the best way to do that is a pop high. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to put a new underwear stop. Make a home improvement store. Finally going back to your house. You promised your daughter. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Dad. Hi. 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 Hi.
why we're here in California. So and we found a couple things, but we're heading back to Texas and uh, get this video done, get it, get it posted. If you keep watching, we'll keep making the videos, guys. We'll see you soon. Say bye, Reed. Bye. Mm -hmm. Mom also broke something. Ooh.